Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen was a German physicist who, on November 8, 1895, produced and detected electromagnetic radiation in a wavelength range today known as X-rays or Röntgen rays, an achievement that earned him the first Nobel Prize in physics in 1901. Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen was born on March 27, 1845 at Lennep in the Lower Rhine province of Germany as the only child of a merchant in and manufacturer of cloth. His mother was Charlotte Constanz Frowein of Amsterdam, a member of an old Lennep family which had settled in Amsterdam. Röntgen was married to Anna Bertha Ludwig and had one child, Josephine Bertha Ludwig. Adopted at age six in 1887, she was the daughter of Anna's brother. Röntgen died on February 10, 1923, from carcinoma of the intestine. When he was three years old, his family moved to Appledorn in the Netherlands, where he went to the Institute of Martinus Hermann van Dorn, a boarding school. He did not show any special aptitude, but showed a love of nature and was fond of roaming in the open country and forests. He was especially apt at making mechanical contrivances, a characteristic which remained with him also later in life. In 1862, he entered a technical school at Utrecht, where he was, however, unfairly expelled, accused of having produced a caricature of one of the teachers, which was in fact done by someone else. He then entered the University of Utrecht in 1865 to study physics. He then entered the University of Utrecht in 1865 to study physics. Not having attained the credentials required for a regular student and hearing that he could enter the Polytechnic at Zurich by passing his examinations, he passed the examination and began studies there as a student of mechanical engineering. In 1869, he graduated with a Ph.D. from the University of Zurich. In 1874, he qualified as lecturer at Strasbourg University, and in 1875, he was appointed professor in the Academy of Agriculture at Hohenheim in Wartenburg. In 1876, he returned to Strasbourg as professor of physics, but three years later, he accepted the invitation to the chair of physics in the University of Giessen. After having declined invitations to similar positions in the universities of Jena in 1886 and Utrecht in 1888, he accepted one from the University of Warsburg in 1888, where he succeeded Kohlrausch and found among his colleagues Helmholtz and Lawrence. In 1899, he declined an offer to the chair of physics in the University of Leipzig, but in 1900, he accepted it from the University of Munich by special request of the Bavarian government as successor of E. Wommel. Here he remained for the rest of his life, although he was offered, but declined, the presidency of the Fiskalische Technische Rechtskontakt at Berlin and the chair of physics of the Berlin Academy. On the evening of November 8, 1895, he found that if the discharge tube is enclosed in a sealed thick black carton to exclude all light, and if he worked in a dark room, a paper plate covered on one side with barium platinocyanide placed in the path of the rays became fluorescent even when it was as far as two meters from the discharge tube. During subsequent experiments, he found that objects of different thicknesses imposed in the path of the rays showed variable transparency to them when recorded on photographic plate. When he immobilized for some moments the hand of his wife in the path of the rays over a photographic plate, he observed after development of the plate an image of his wife's hand which showed the shadows thrown by the bones of her hand and that of a ring she was wearing, surrounded by the penumbra of the flesh which was more permeable to the rays and therefore threw a fainter shadow. This was the first Röntgenogram ever taken. In further experiments, Röntgen showed that the new rays are produced by the impact of cathode rays on a material object. Because their nature was then unknown, he gave them the name X-rays. Röntgen's first work was published in 1870, dealing with the specific heats of gases, followed a few years later by a paper on the thermal conductivity of crystals. Among other problems he studied were the electrical and other characteristics of quartz, the influence of pressure on the refractive indices of various fluids, the modification of the planes of polarized light by electromagnetic influences, the variations in the functions of the temperature and the compressibility of water and other fluids, and finally, the phenomena accompanying the spreading of oil drops on water. Some famous quotes by Röntgen. I didn't think, I experimented. Great discoveries are made accidentally less often than the populace likes to think. It seemed at first a new kind of invisible light. 
It was clearly something new, something unrecorded. As a lasting impression, when it takes forever to get through the security line at an airport, you can thank Rentgen for discovering the x-rays used to see through your bag.